Hi, my name is Naga Bharadwaj, working as a Boomi integration developer in TGH. Today, I am going to explain the topic Boomi Event Streams. So, Event Streams is a service provided by the Boomi where you can create and manage and publish the message queues in Boomi Cloud. Basically, Event Streams is like an event broker where it is used for exchanging the information between multiple systems. It stores the messages in cloud. So, you can send and access the messages in any Boomi account. So let's go through the event stream service. So you can see in the event stream service tab, you can see all the environments. So in each environment, you can create multiple topics. In each topic, you can create multiple subscribers. And in the dashboard tab, you can monitor the messages and red letter messages per topic. And in the topics tab, you can see the list of the topics you created. And here also you can manually create the topic. So in Boomi, we having the event streams connector to send and retrieve the messages from the event streams. So and coming to the configuration, connection configuration. So we need a token. So from the event stream service, we can get this token by going to the environments. So here you can see the event streams environment is there. So you can click the view details and in the settings, you can capture the token. So just copy the token and paste the token in the environment token. Yeah. So this is the only configuration to do in the connection for the event streams. So this token is the combination of the account ID and the environment ID. It is base 64 encoded. So like this, we can configure the connection for the event stream and coming to the actions, we having two actions. One is produce and one is consume. So produce in the sense, if you want to send the messages to the event streams, you can choose produce. If you want to retrieve the message from the event streams, you can choose consume. So for now I'm choosing produce to send the messages to the event streams and uh, configure the, we need to configure the operation also in the operation. We need to give the topic name. Yeah, then there are two access modes are there. So one is shared and second one is exclusive shared in the sense, multiple producers can publish the messages to the event streams exclusive in the sense, only one producer can publish the message. So if you want to, and also if you want to compress the message, you can choose this and uh, choose this uh, message compression. If you want to add message properties, you can add the property here. So I'm adding one property. Right. So like this, you need to configure the operation for event streams. So let's try to send a sample message to the event streams. So I placed a sample message here, XML data. So now we'll execute the process once. I'm executing this process with a cloud atom. You can use any atom to execute. So the message is successfully reached to the event streams. So we can refresh the table once. So you can see for this topic, one backlog is there. So backlog in the sense there, there was a message is present in the topic. So let's try to retrieve the message. So to retrieve the messages from the event streams, you need to change the action to consume. And in the operation, you need to give the topic name and the subscriber name. So like this, you can configure the operation while consuming the data from the event streams. And if you want to retrieve the message properties also, you can use the set properties and uh, you, you can use the document property. And in the document property, you need to give the key name. So like this, you can get the message property also. So now execute the process to retrieve the messages from the event streams. So you can see the messages is successfully retrieved from the event streams.
yeah and you can see in the logs the value also successfully we received like this you can produce and consume the messages using the event streams connector and with the make use of the uh, environment token you can access this event streams in another account also because the messages are present in cloud you can access it in any account thank you